Thank you so much for tuning in. I am just having my coffee here and I was like, I'm just gonna start this vlog here. So it is officially Tuesday. We have been in Nashville. We got here Friday. So we've been here like almost a week and a half. I love it, you guys. I love it so much. So I figured I'd start vlogging a little bit more, especially since we're in Nashville and we love it so much and I wanna bring you guys along. I am having my coffee right now and I am actually vlogging today because I am actually going to Technically not my very first, but I feel like it's like my very first Pilates class. Here's the deal on Pilates. Ever since switching to my four, two, and one plan, I specifically wanted to integrate activity because I really wanna to start toning up. And I've been working towards getting my 10,000 steps a day. Like that's a thing that I do every single day, but I wanted to start incorporating some sort of like resistance, body weight, you know, something. And I started looking into like different options for that. I've tried doing just like lifting in the gym with Zach, cause that's what he likes doing. He's actually at the gym right now but honestly that is just like kind of a lifestyle I don't think I'm ready for right now like the amount of people the kinds of people that are over in that area of the gym I just don't know if that's me right now I'll be completely honest with you but I started looking into Pilates back when we were in Dallas and I did take an intro class and after taking the intro class that was just like at lifetime, I did not realize how freaking sore I was after just an introduction to Pilates. I was like, that was hardly anything and I am so sore and it was kind of fun. I feel like this might be my thing. So I actually decided I really want to start moving towards trying to implement some sort of Pilates into my life. Ideally, I'd really like to do it twice a week. That would be like the perfect scenario, but I'm still trying to kind of like find my bearings with it. So I was talking to one of my girls. She's actually one of my revivers on my team. And I was talking to her about this Pilates situation. She's like, oh my God, you have to try class pass. So so I don't know if you guys know about what ClassPass is and I'm not like fully giving a review on them just yet because this is going to be like my very first experience with them. But ClassPass is basically a service that you can sign up for that all over the country, you basically have a certain number of credits that you can use every month just based on a monthly fee where you can use those credits all over town for different services, specifically workout classes like Pilates, bar, yoga, things like that. It's also really cool. You can use credits for like hair styling and facials and massages. And I was like, that is super cool. And then when I looked into it, number one, there's a free trial for a month. And I was like, why the heck not? And then also the monthly fee is like super cheap considering it's like almost like unlimited access. Anyway, I was like, let's try it out. I actually decided I was gonna start my class pass trial when we got to Nashville and start looking for a Pilates studio. So found one, I forget what it's called. I feel like I should look it up just so I can tell you guys in case I love it or hate it. Found one called Meliora Movement. I don't know, I'll put it on the screen so you guys can 
look it up if you want to. But I tried looking for a Pilates studio in Nashville and that was the one that had openings for this Tuesday. That was the one that had pretty high stars. I wanna say where they were like 4.9 stars or something. And they had an opening for an 11 a.m. all levels Pilates class. So this I think is gonna be more like introductory, again, similar to what I did before, but I just, it's very intimidating, especially going to a real studio. Like I went and did Pilates just at Lifetime in their little reformer room or whatever, but going to an actual Pilates studio, I'm like a little nervous. I don't know I'm gonna be able to bring the camera in or get any sort of shots. Um, I'm hoping I can, because I'm like obviously hyping this up and this is gonna be a big part of the video, but I'm kind of nervous. I'm like, honestly, last night, I turned to Zach and I was like, can you go to Pilates with me? <laughs> Zach is gonna drive me. I'm gonna go to a Pilates class at a Pilates studio today. And this is a big freaking deal, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys along for that whole journey and experience and let you guys know what I think. I just feel like it's time to start feeling strong again. And I have heard nothing but great things about Pilates. I really feel like this is gonna be a good fit. But if it's not, Class Pass is open for a million other different types of classes and we can try different classes together. So for now, I'm gonna finish my coffee and we are gonna get going for the day. I am gonna do probably like a little minimal makeup. I don't wanna walk in like full on bare face. Again, I'm like a little nervous about this and I feel a little judged because I don't know what I'm doing and I've never been there before. So I think I'm gonna put on like just a little bit of like skin product and you know, call it a day. We'll see what this entails and regardless, we're gonna do it together. So thank you so much for tuning into this video and let's continue on with the vlog. Have this feeling, feeling. haven't felt for so long. Took a hold of me and won't let go. I've been sleeping, caught me off my guard. Cause you're in my space and now I'm so with two specific corners. This is the saga of Zach not knowing. Because <laughs> if you do it from these two corners and you do it, <laughs> then you get this. Oh, no, it works. Oh, okay, not fair. Guys, I didn't get the I camera get out. Every time. I didn't, every time. <laughs> I didn't get the camera out in time, but like literally almost every time, he just hands me the sunshade and he's like, you do this. That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, we just got here. It looks really small. And one of my like strategies in booking this was I figured at 11 a.m. like it's a small Pilates studio, meaning like maybe I'll be the only one. I don't know. But anyway, we're here. I'm feeling kind of nervous. We're here for the new experiences to make us better, right? Yeah. Wish me luck. I can see what we are. Don't know where we belong. Wanna know what you're thinking. Wanna know if something's missing. Started stories before, but they ended up short. Get me up to higher places. Want you to feel my pages. Is this for real or is it just a fantasy? what I looked like for an aftermath of my first Pilates. Okay, number one, that was not beginner. <laughs> 
I didn't find that out until like the very end of the class and the lady was telling me, oh my God, you did so good. Like for this being your first class, you did so good. And I was like, everything hurts. I was sweating within the first like, I would say at least five to 10 minutes. I feel like kind of sick to my stomach. Like that was just like a lot. And I booked it in the app and it said all levels, which was the only thing I could find that seemed like it was gonna be open to beginners. Yeah, no, that was like all advanced people. It definitely was not just me in there. It was a full class. They were all very advanced. It was very intimidating. It was honestly like kind of painful. I was like, I can't believe we're still doing another exercise on this leg like it was just like a lot but like I'm really proud of myself for sticking it out I also thought this was going to be another intro like where they kind of like show you what moves are and like stuff like that no that was a full-on class it was with like full-on advanced but considering I've like never done Pilates in my life Number one, I feel a little bad that I showed up because I feel like the instructor was not expecting like a full on beginner in that class. But number two, I'm like really proud of myself for sticking it out and doing as best as I possibly could. There also is a level to this that because it's a class and because there's other people there, you feel like you have to keep going. Like you feel like you can't give up. You feel like you have to like stick it out. And it's kind of like having skin in the game, you know? Like you have money on the line because you paid for the class or, you know, booked the class. You're in front of other people so you feel like you have to like you know do your absolute best like just honest thoughts this is Pilates um, the studio was super cute I really couldn't get very many clips because I was the newbie and it was so quiet in there I didn't want to like ask can I take more clips around the studio <laughs> <laughs> like I just didn't want to be that person, but I got as many clips as I could I tried to also get clips for a reel that was really ambitious um, But regardless, I'm proud of myself for doing it. I have a feeling I'm about to be sore for an entire week like that was a lot But we freaking did it. I need to take a chill pill because my stomach is upset now But we're gonna be good and I might do another class at that same place. I really liked the instructor. She helped me the whole time. She was like, it's gonna feel awkward. It's gonna feel like you're doing it wrong. It's gonna look really weird, but like that's what it's like when you start doing Pilates. So I don't know. I am gonna do my absolute best to keep this moving forward and I'll keep documenting this journey. I might continue with Pilates for a little bit. I might try something else, who knows? But Pilates, I would say was a success and let's continue on with the vlog. Hi, hello. It is actually the next day. I had a break in calls. I'm actually like on Zoom right now doing like check-ins with my Revive Tribe right now and one of them just bumped by like half an hour. So I was like, I'm gonna jump on my vlog and give you guys a quick update. So it is the next day from my Pilates class. I had full intentions of vlogging the whole rest of yesterday and oh my God. <laughs> I think I like still had a little bit of adrenaline after the class ended when I like filmed that little like clip of how it went and my review but like oh my god I feel like it kind of set in on the drive home how much I felt like I'd literally been hit by like a truck and like I was telling you guys in that clip I was in basically an advanced Pilates class <laughs> and I haven't done like a workout like that in like ever like it's been a really long time the only thing that i've been doing has been like basically like regular cardio and like maybe a little bit of lifting or like whatever but that was a full body experience and on the trip home i was starting to feel like really sick to my stomach like i felt like i was gonna throw up i felt like i was gonna pass out like i'm sure all of us here have seen at least one episode of the biggest loser and you know how like on the biggest loser the first episode during the first workout a a lot of them throw up at the end or like halfway through that's how it felt like I legit almost threw up and I was so grateful that Zach drove me there and like was a part of this whole experience because I don't know how I would have gotten home like that was a lot and here's kind of what I've learned in this whole experience. Number one, I really, really loved Pilates. It was a full body workout, like literally worked out every aspect of this. And I'll tell you what, the next day, I am incredibly sore. Like I was starting to feel sore 
last night. Like I was starting to feel like, oh my God, what's happening with my legs right now? Like this is a soreness I've never experienced. This morning I was expecting to be more sore in my legs, but honestly, the majority of my soreness is all upper body, okay? I'm literally, my chest, my triceps, my abs, and my upper back are literally the worst out of anything. And when I was in bed this morning, I was like, I don't know if I can move. Luckily, it's like 11 o'clock, so I've had like some time to adjust to this. I'm kind of glad my legs are not like incredibly sore because I don't know how I would like live today. Regardless, the soreness is on another level and it basically means that it worked. I got a full body workout with Pilates. I really, really liked the studio. I think it's Meliora. Meliora movement? I don't know. The instructor was super, super nice. She and I were chatting on Instagram later on that day and she just, she was telling me that I did a really good job. I was like, I really don't think I did a good job. Like, I really feel like I am such a newbie and I didn't realize I was in an advanced class. <laughs> but she was saying that I did a really good job. And one of the big things that I want to like really put out there with, especially if anybody here is looking to implement that kind of exercise, that kind of activity, that kind of increased movement, that needs to be a four, two, and one plan. For anybody here who is still on five and one and is like kind of thinking about doing Pilates or thinking about getting some sort of like extra strength training in, if you're gonna be doing that level, you need to be doing a four, two, and one because I went to that Pilates class and I had only had had two fuelings for the day so far. That was my biggest mistake. I should have had at a bare minimum, maybe three fuelings and a snack if not two fuelings and a full lean and green before that Pilates class. And then after the Pilates class, I should have had my second lean and green. Like that's how this day should have broken up. But no, I was not prepared for what I was showing up to. I full on thought this was gonna be just like an introductory class where they're like, this is Pilates. This is the reformer. This is how it moves. Like that's what I was like expecting. And it was full on. Even the girls in the class were like kind of groaning because it was like so hard and they were talking about how she was pushing them too hard and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, <laughs> like, I was doing everything I could. But basically what I'm saying is if you're gonna be doing anything like that to the point where it's a very high increased amount of activity, I was sweating within the first five minutes. I was sore already within the first like 10, 15 minutes. Like you need extra food for that. There is no way I could have survived yesterday on a five and one. I was feeling so lightheaded. I was feeling so overwhelmed. My stomach was hurting. I thought I was gonna throw up. I thought I was gonna pass out. I had a call right after this Pilates class and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna pass out on this call. Like, and having only had two fuelings for the day, not safe, not good, not healthy, right? So. From what I've learned from this whole experience is number one, if you're gonna be doing anything like that, please talk to your coach and talk about a plan that's gonna work for you. You may need to implement some sort of extra snacks, you may need to implement some extra protein, like whatever, or you can switch to a full on four, two, and one plan. But what I plan to be doing is I'm thinking about having two fuelings in the morning and adding in my snack to at least my second fueling shake. There are snacks available on the four, two, and one plan that include oats, and that's a big thing that Zach has mentioned in his workouts is every time either before or after his workout he tries to add in oats to his shake or just have oats in general just that influx of carbs to be able to get through that kind of a workout is crucial and then after the workout I want to have my first lean and green I want to make sure that I'm putting some carbs right before and then I'm putting in some good veggies and protein right after that's what I should have done. However, this is a learning process. I'm really glad I documented this whole thing. And honestly, out of all of this, I am just so proud of myself for doing it and sticking to it and following through with it. There was such a level of accountability of being in that class. I mean, number one, I felt really intimidated. I felt really embarrassed. I felt really out of my comfort zone because I was around all these girls that I found out in the first few minutes that like this was not their first time there. Like they've been doing this for a while. But also like, I felt like I needed to keep up. I'm in a class full of about six or seven girls. Like these are small spaces because they can only fit a certain amount of reformers in the room. And I felt like I needed to keep up with them. I felt like I don't want to bring the class back. And I felt like I needed to prove that I can at least warrant my spot in this class. And being in a class atmosphere, that's just what happens. You feel like you have to push yourself because you are in a group setting. And I honestly think that that is awesome. I think if you can use that to your advantage, and you can use that
that to your benefit, it's great. If you're on the treadmill and you're on a treadmill with a bunch of other people, nobody's gonna say anything if you stop the treadmill or you bring it down a notch or you get off, you know what I mean? But if you're in a class and everybody's doing the same thing, you better keep up, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I've really, really learned from this whole thing. I need to space out my foods, my protein, my starches, all of those things all around that workout. I really do think I'd like to implement Pilates once or twice a week max, especially with the soreness that's to come. I need to make sure that I'm taking that in doses. And I also was so wiped yesterday that I could not do my walk. I'm trying to aim for 10,000 steps a day, which means going on a 45 minute to an hour long walk each day and I did not get that in yesterday. I'll be completely honest with you. I was dead. Like Zach and I ended up going to the store to get a Father's Day card and get like a couple groceries for dinner. And I felt like I was getting looks at the grocery store because I felt like I looked like I was like drugged. Like I was so wiped and I have not been wiped like that in like years, you guys. Like probably like five years. Like it's been a very, very long time. And I was fully intending to vlog, but I was like, I just need to like lay down. <laughs> Like, I need to eat some food and I need to lay down. Like, that was a lot and I think I learned my lesson there. So, I think this video is getting a little long, so I'm gonna go ahead and just close it out. I feel like this needs to just be its own experience of my first time at Pilates, my first time kind of pushing myself and getting out of my comfort zone. And I'm gonna be documenting the whole rest of the way as I get into more classes and as I get into more experiencing new kinds of movement, all of those kinds of things, I'm gonna bring the camera along. But I just wanted to show you guys that, okay, Okay, number one, that was really, really hard and it was really scary and it was really intimidating and I was extremely nervous going into it. But number two, I freaking did it. And if I can do it, you can do it. Do hard things, you guys. I promise you, I feel so, so accomplished for putting myself in that uncomfortable situation because now I know the next time is gonna be so much simpler. The next time I know what to expect, the next time I can do it and be prepared, right? I can grow from this. And it honestly all just comes from starting. I was scared, I was nervous, I was embarrassed. I was the girl that was trying to get clips for my Instagram. You know what I mean? Like that was not comfortable for me, but I did it. And I'm really proud of myself for pushing through. And if I can do it, you can do it, okay? That's my rant for today. I have a call coming up in a couple minutes, but I wanted to thank you all so, so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more videos documenting my fitness journey along with my healthy lifestyle, I would absolutely love to do that for you. Please leave a comment down below. Subscribe to my channel, tick that notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload new videos coming to you guys every single week. And I am so excited for what's to come to continue on my Schlee's Health Journey series. I hope you all have a fabulous rest of your day. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. Are you still in my arms?